Again, welcome to the sound shower. We're going to be doing the crystal harp sound shower tonight. And it's going to be a powerful sound shower. I can already feel it. It's, the energy is already coming in. So if everybody would go ahead and close their eyes. And as I play the ceremonial flute, go ahead and set your intentions for what you'd like to receive during this sound shower. Everybody take a deep breath in and hold it. And then exhale with a sigh. And let go of all the worries of the day, the stress, the negativity of what's going on out there. Just let it all go. And take another deep breath in and hold it. And then exhale with a sigh. And feel your body to begin to relax. Take another 
another deep cleansing breath in and hold it. And then exhale with a sigh. Feel yourself being grounded to Mother Earth. Imagine that Mother Earth energy flowing up through the bottom of your feet and entering into your body, grounding you, nurturing you, and loving you. And as I play the canary nut bracelet, imagine that all of the discordant energies that your body's holding is being released, broken up, and you're letting it go. So just imagine that energy that's not for your highest good being released and let go of it.
ready to tone with me and as we're toning off imagine white light coming in through your crown chakra and totally immersing you in white light so tone with me ah uh, and imagine that white light entering your crown chakra and filling your whole body with white light ah uh.
Okay, everybody take a deep breath in and hold it. And then exhale with a sigh. Become present in this moment. And take another deep breath in and hold it. And then exhale again with a sigh. And become aware of your body. Take notice of what you're feeling right now. And take another deep breath in and hold it. And then exhale with a sigh. And feel yourself completely back in your body, feeling grounded, peaceful, calm, and centered. And when you are ready, bring yourself back to the outer world, feeling peaceful and joyful and refreshed. There's such a peaceful, calm energy right now. I hope you can all feel it. If anybody's back enough to talk, <laughs> you can go ahead and share. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're still recording. Do you know that? I am. I am. I'm, 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 I'm recording. recording. Okay. So I was out for maybe after the third bowl. 
And then I came back in and I just felt so light and floaty. And when you sang, it was like an angel singing. That was, wow, I can't thank you enough. It was just, just beautiful. Anybody else have anything to share? Hmm. We'll share. Uh, you better. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the energy was pretty intense in the beginning. I was feeling um, it couldn't settle down real easily. My body wasn't relaxing and kind of like last night. And then I realized we also have a super moon today. Super oh. Moon. Yeah. So it felt similar to like last night when I was trying to sleep. And then eventually I started to go really deep to the point where I, I wasn't even hearing anything anymore. And then you started singing and I was like, whoa, where am I? Uh <laughs> 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 oh, but yeah, um, it was very good. I feel a lot lighter um yeah i feel very expanded right now so it's kind of hard to talk yeah it is it's very difficult to talk after um a sound especially the sound showers lately it just keeps getting more and more intense and more i don't know they keep going deeper and deeper and um it doesn't hit me until after the sound shower um, later on tonight, I'll probably be wiped out and tomorrow as well. Um, but during the sound shower, when I'm doing it, things just seem to flow really well and the energies are pretty intense and I'm just, I'm just drenched in because it's so hot. The energies are just coming in. Um, I didn't see anything, but I know stuff was happening for everybody. And the bowls played really well tonight, which was amazing because I've had um, in some of the sound, sound showers because the bulls are having to work so hard to clear energies they didn't have to tonight they were the energies were pretty clear when we started so that was really good um, that was really amazing so yeah I could hear them really well um, yeah. the sound was great everything that you played was just felt like it that's what needed we needed to hear. Yeah. The drum in the beginning was pretty cool. Yeah, I liked all of it. It was wonderful. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> now I'm super hot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it gets hot. <laughs> and we have to go outside to get cooled off. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Lisa. Is anybody else back yet? Able to talk? You know, Deborah, I just felt like um, when I came out, I felt like you were in this other dimension, if I can put it that way. You were in this dimension creating this incredible symphony of sound that just kind of flowed in right now. Like, okay, that's what I got. Hmm. Thank you, Thank for, you sharing for sharing that. that. When, before I start the sound shower, I always bring call in the angels and the high selves and the guides and, and the angelic beings. And I always ask to be connected to the music of the spheres um, and that I be that clear channel so that 
whatever is to be brought in through the sound, the energies and the sound itself is brought through. Um, and it's always different every time. And it always depends on the people that are part of the sound shower because whenever um, we have a diverse group of people, the energies are brought in for everyone in that that um, group. So it will, be, it will be different every time um, I do a sound shower, which is pretty amazing. And the more and more I do this, the more um, things are being brought through, which is, and I can't, I don't even know what they are. I just know things are happening. I can feel it. I'm a feeling, knowing kind of person rather than a seeing, hearing kind of thing. So, um, yeah, it just gets better and better every time. I just wanted to comment again, Deborah, too, that when you started this singing, I could feel myself. I was really deep and I was definitely somewhere else because I could feel myself being pulled back in uh, to my body. So uh, it's it was kind of a really interesting sensation to feel so expanded somewhere and then being kind of like called back home again. <laughs> Interesting. It was very visceral. I could really feel that. So it was neat. Yeah, the harp really puts you in a different space. Um, you're just, it's the angelic harp. That's what I call it. And we're communing with the angels. Um, and so when I start playing something else or saying it kind of, the energies, energies are a little bit different. And so it kind of brings you back. But that's how you know that you were so far away, so gone. That's kind of cool sometimes. I, I like that when it happens to me as well. Because then you realize how far you were, how gone you were, how expanded you were. Um, it's pretty cool. How you doing, Brick? How about you, Franny? Are you back? Okay, how about you, Jeff? Anything to share? I just found it nice, calm, and angelic. I loved it. I can't hear. Hang on. Let me turn my speaker back up a little bit. Okay, go ahead. I said it was calm and angelic, just the way I like it. Oh, good. <laughs> calm and angelic. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, Franny, there is life over there. <laughs> how you doing over there? I can't hear you. I love Lisa's word expansive. Um, what a really, um, what a really good term to describe the experience. Um, I um, had a little bit of a hard time dropping in just because um, I was still at work and just shifting gears from um, some real cognitive stuff to wanting to be present and enjoy the sound. So I was actually alert for much of it tonight, which is unusual. Usually I just go right out. So um, I actually was sort of on that um, edge of consciousness or however you want to describe it. And then I heard the crystal harp and I was like, 
oh, that must be the crystal harp. I haven't heard that in ages. And I was like, oh, that is the sweetest sound. So I was amazed that I'd been awake through, um, through all of it. And I heard that. And then I remember you singing. And then sometime after that, like after you sang, you played the harp just a little bit more. And then I don't remember anything else. Then I was out, then I was gone. <laughs> and then I heard you and Pat laughing. And I was like, what, what? I didn't hear you call us back. So um, that was kind of interesting. So I loved hearing the harp. Well, I loved all, I loved all of it. Um, it was just actually kind of nice to hear the instruments tonight. But I'm really glad that I was here. And I so, so, so appreciate you um, doing this. And I appreciate the comments too of, you know, like even Pat saying, um, you were like in another sphere playing this symphony um, or another dimension playing all of these instruments in a symphony. It really, um, it feels that way to me too. Like it feels like there's a lot going on. Oh, now I remember one thing. Um, during one part of it, um, uh, some helpers, I don't know who they were, guides or spirit helpers, they were working on my back and that was really wonderful. That was really wonderful. I was like, wow, I'm getting a healing and it feels so good. Oh, good. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's all I have to share. Well, thank you for sharing, Franny. I'm glad you were, glad you were able to hear, able all, to the hear all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, if nobody has anything else to share, I guess we'll go ahead and close um, so that we can um, have time to process tonight before we go to bed. I'm, I'm, I know I'm gonna be processing a lot tonight and tomorrow. So go ahead and close your eyes and see that bubble of light around you That bubble filled with white light from above. And then for the, those of you that have to go out tonight, put a thin layer of indigo blue around your bubble. Another extra layer of protection. And then starting at your heart chakra, send a, a shaft of light down through your feet, anchoring into Mother Earth, grounding us to Mother Earth, so that we can be, can be totally present in this moment and in our bodies. And then feel that Earth energy flowing up through your feet and into your body. And then again, see another shaft of light going up through your crown chakra, starting at the level of your heart. Have it go up through your crown chakra, through the universe, and then anchoring in the center of creation. And this connects us to, our, to the divine, to our high selves, to the etheric realm. And then see white light flowing down through the universe into our crown chakra, into our layers of our being, and entering our body and swirling and mixing with the earth energies. And then the energies flowing down through our feet where they can be reabsorbed again by Mother, Mother Earth. This helps us to be centered and grounded to Mother Earth, but also connected to our, our guides, our high self, the divine. 
and we thank all of the angels and our guides and our high selves and the divine and all of the masters and all of the beings that have been here with us tonight facilitating the energies clearing us and aligning us and connecting us to the angelic realm thank you for this healing for the love and the peace and the joy and as we leave tonight and go about our evening activities we know that we are divinely guided that we are loved that we are connected to all that is and that we have a spiritual family that we can always connect with and share and help and be one with and we are so grateful for this opportunity to be together And I guess I'm going to play the happy flute. Hopefully it's not too loud. <laughs> Everybody, thank you for being here tonight.